right, Kevin Chung, uh, nice work here at the uh, 2019 <laughs> Cup. Thank you. Uh, competitive race, a couple of top-notch teams. Uh, talk about the performance today in the season. Um, you know, it's been something that we've been building up for the past three months. I think the last time that we won the men's varsity race was back in 2015. So this was definitely something that we've been gunning for the entire year. Um, you know, we, we took a lot of confidence out of our national championships win back in November. And yeah, all I can say is our coach kept driving us forward, just telling us, keep your eye on the prize. And you know, the guys, we had a race plan. The guys pulled it off to perfection. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and there, I think there was about halfway. Uh, I guess you call it the uh, the pain locker. Yeah, <laughs> the dark hole, as they call it. <laughs> about halfway, uh, I think UBC had probably their biggest gap, and then uh, the UVic might have been closing a little bit after the bridge. Yeah, you say uh, that's true. Yeah, I'd say UVic definitely put in a pretty strong push as we were coming through the bridge, and they had the inside turn, but. Um, you know, luckily our guys held their nerve. We knew that they were going to be able to get a bit on that turn, but um, we managed to limit it to a pretty good amount. And as we came out of it, the the guys made a big push to take back that advantage. Most of your races uh, throughout the season are, are straight and uh, not necessarily in, 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 in a track like this. So, uh, how do you uh, train specifically for this event when you're you got to be around straight for most of your events? Uh, so, we're pretty lucky in that we train out on the Fraser River, so there are quite a bit of bends for us to get used to. Um, but honestly, there's not much you can do to prepare for just the high-end racing going around bends you just kind of you can practice it a little bit but at the end of the day it's all about just keeping your head in the boat and making sure that you know what you're doing. So last year uh, you Vic swept this year you, you took three or four. Yes that's correct. And, and so what was the difference uh, this year over last year? Um, I wanting it. You know, I, I'd say that there's not too much difference between this year and last year. You've got two very high-end crews, so it all comes down to fine margins. Today, we managed to pull off the race to perfection. Last year, Uvic managed to do it against us, so that's what happens when you've got two high-end crews going head-to-head. -head. Yeah, for sure. So uh, what are you saying to guys late in the race? Uh, Uvic's closing a little bit. you got meters to go. A little bit of chops coming up yep. in the harbor. Um, what are you yelling at them? Just told them, keep your heads. We've put in the work. We've got, we're in a good place where we want to be, and it's just time to finish off the job. Grow clean. Grow clean, grow hard, just get yourself into that dark, dark space. What's next coming up for you? I'm graduating this year, but um, the rest of the guys, I think we're planning on going over to England for Henley Royal Regatta in July. So take a little bit of time off before gearing up for that one. That's the Holy Grail, isn't it? That is the Holy Grail, besides the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, well, nice work here, and uh, good luck with uh, your season going forward. Thank you very much.